hello my viewers welcome back to my channel if today now your first time um welcome i appreciate you see all these fine fine sleeves when are they show now for these blouses so make we learn how to do one now or yeah make we start this now the pattern paper we'll go use to so all the pattern paper together now na, na 16 inches but as i fold them so it could be eight inches because the measurements when i want to use as my armhole now seven inches so i have extra one inch allowance as allowance okay so first i go draw my starting line okay i will call label am sl so from this starting line i go measure 10 inches when it be my elbow from shoulder to elbow na 10 inches shoulder to wrist na 20 inches i don't mark those ones out so what i go do next be say i go draw straight line okay for the elbow and i go come write down elbow so that you my viewers go no say na shoulder to elbow be this and the next one na wrist you go also no say na shoulder to wrist measurement be this elbow na 10 inches inches wrist na 20 inches we don't do that one so the next thing i won't draw now one straight line for three inches points be that and that straight line now my cap height the cap height so get them you go divide your bust by 12 then you go add 0 0.5 inches i beg use calculator for this one divide your bust by 12 and then add 0 0.5 inches then you go get your cap height after you don't get your cap height me i won't mark out seven inches when it be half of the armhole when would they use the armhole now 14 half of them now seven so that's seven inches i don't mark so i go call draw slant line go meet the, the starting line if i don't draw them like that i will come divide that slant line into two this one you don't need calculator just fold your measuring tape like this uh -huh. good 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 person oh yeah mark them there i don't divide them into two then as we don't divide them into two we go come go up by half inches you see I'm so after we don't go up by half inches, make we use ruler draw straight line so that it go there more visible. Uh -huh. What we can't do now, we don't divide this uh, slant line into two. So for this first half, we will come divide them again into two. You don't need calculator, use your measuring tape, bend them like that. Then you go mark them. Good. Then you go call go up again. By this time now, quarter inch you go go up. No be half inch again. Okay? You go go up by quarter inch inch very good then you go just use your marker to draw straight line on the other half you go also divide them by two again just fold your measuring tape like this uh -huh. and then mark the point when you mark and this time we need to go up or don't go up two times so we go come down by half uh, by quarter of an inch okay make we mark them then we go also draw straight line make it day more visible so that we go this uh -huh. year waiting i want talk next be say we can use curve ruler take off from the starting line to that middle point where we go up by half of an inch then we'll call come down to come meet our ham hole okay maybe they do them now just watch what here i won't do remember say i divide this first half by two and the second half by two okay then i go up by quarter of an inch i come down by quarter of an inch just watch these videos where make you not they confused you go see us with the do one so i go use my curve ruler take off i'm just the look what here they do make i no talk again just the look you see i'm saying an easy thing bar just to draw so what i go do i go just shape the ending part when i don't shave on like that i go come go over to my elbow i will come divide my elbow measurement by two my wrist measurement by two but make we start from the wrist first the wrist measurement now 10 so if we divide them by two it will be five inches so i go mark out that five inches okay then we will go over to the elbow the elbow measurement when i won't use now 12 inches okay so if we divide them by two now six inches so i will come use straight ruler to join all these points together okay i will come join all these points together with a straight ruler after i don't join all these points together i go come show now one more thing when you not go forget remember say no allowance so uh -huh. but then if you won't learn how to do this your wrist measurements well you won't take accurate measurement make sure say you do one the way be say your hand go feed a pass through freely if your hand don't pass through freely then be say not be correct wrist measurement but if your hand pass through freely now correct measurement so you feel mark that one out so make we cut our own. hope you they cut your own there uh and -huh. make i open and make you see i be eh what did they squeeze the paper now oh yeah make you see as it be 
Okay, the next thing where I want to be say, I go bring one satin when I get, I get one small satin there. Make we put them on top. Make we just draft them for inside pattern for fabrics. So make a first put no allowance so that you, my viewers, go no say allowance not deal. Okay, so go put them on top of these fabrics. And here, this is not the fabrics what I tell you say I get. So I go pin them down first. Make sure say so you pin your own too. All of us now beginners. Oh yeah, pin your own too. Mm -hmm. After you don't pin them, you can't remember. Say, we not put allowance, so you can't put out, you can't cut out half an inch allowance for all the sides. Okay, you see, to draft sleeve, not very easy thing. But then again, no, make I ask, what you make you never subscribe? Subscribe, my friend, like, share, leave a comment so that I will know. Say, you visit my page. At this point, I want to say thank you. <laughs>